Bigelow's real cute. He wanted to get tough with Chester. He don't know Chester. Did you get the picture? Don't I always get what Mr. Majak sends me after? Majak? That's right. I'm the dealer who bought the iridium from Phillips. I get it. You have Rakubian unload stolen stuff on Phillips to help a Marla here, and then you buy it back from him. Oh, you certainly made a sucker out of Phillips. What is it, Mr. Bigelow? Exactly what is on your mind? I'm looking for Raymond Rakubian. What? Well, now, Marla here has told you everything else. I'm sure she must have told you that, too. You don't expect me to believe this conversation. So, what is on your mind? I mean, underneath. You forced your way into my affairs, and now I want to know why. I just told you. I'm looking for Raymond Rakubian. Don't get cute. I'm just itching to work you over. Soft in the belly. Can't take it. <laughs> See what I tell you? I'm gonna blow your guts out. Easy. Way off, just enough now. Look at him. He's so scared of Chester, he talk now. He's not afraid, Chester. You can tell from a man's eyes when he is afraid. Look at his eyes. Hey, Jack, you better keep him away from me or he's really going to have to use that gun. Go away, Chester, please. Do what I tell you, my boy. Please. And help Dave. Ah, you're in pain. He's an unfortunate boy. He's psychopathic. He's unhappy unless he gives pain. He likes to see blood. Come with me, Mr. Bigelow. Raymond Rakubian was my nephew. He could not possibly have tried to kill you. He's been dead five months. I'm afraid you have been sidetracked. Provided it is true that somebody made an attempt on your life, somebody made an attempt again today. I had no reason to kill you, believe me. What do you mean you had no reason? I notarized a certain bill of sale. You notarized the bill of sale for Reynolds, not Rokobia. Not what I told you was true. I had no reason to kill you. That's a closet, Mr. Bigger. And under other circumstances, you could go home now, but now you present a problem. You know too much, and I am in danger. Chester! Suppose I were able to prove to you that I only want to find the person who tried to kill me, and I won't cause you any trouble. You know I can go to jail for ten years for this little business? Ten years! At my age, that's, that's my life. That means my entire life. With my life, I do not take chances. I am sorry, believe me. You want Joe to go with you? No. Just Bigelow and me. And baby makes three. But me, Jack. Goodbye, Mr. Bigelow, and forgive me. Let's go, Bigelow. I guess you won't be there to see me off. Scared. 
Good for scared. I think I'll give it to you in the belly. You don't like it in the belly. Good. Try it. I'd just love you to try it, Bigelow. Why don't you try it? Go ahead. Didn't have the nerve, did you, Pickle? Yeah. I think I'll give it to you right in the belly. Yeah. Takes longer when you get it in the belly. It's nice and slow. That's the way I want to see you go, Bigelow. Nice and slow. How did you get here? Freddie Ross threw me down. I had to come. I had to see you. You shouldn't have come, Paula. You shouldn't have. What is it, Frank? You're in some kind of trouble. I know it. Look at you. You were sight. Your clothes look as if you've slept in them. Are you ill? You are. You're feverish. I'm all right, Paula, and I'm not in any trouble, believe me. You're lying, Frank. Right after I spoke to you, I got a phone call from the San Francisco police. They asked if I knew where you were. You didn't tell them anything, did you? Of course not. It was a homicide detective who called. What is it, Frank? If you're in any kind of trouble, you certainly can trust me. Look, I'm not in any trouble with the police, Paula, believe me. But you can stay here. You've got to go back to Banning right away. No, I won't go, Frank. I won't. I'm staying here with you. Paula, it's better that you go back, believe me. Why? What's this all about? What have you got to do with this Phillips and Reynolds? Phillips was murdered. Murdered? What could that possibly have to do with you? All you did was notarize a paper. You've notarized hundreds of papers. I know, I know. All I did was notarize one little paper. One little paper out of hundreds. Frank, you frighten me. You don't even act like yourself. I know that you're in trouble. That something is wrong. That you're in serious trouble. You frighten me, Frank. Oh, don't be frightened, Paul. Don't ever be frightened of anything again. Will you promise me that? I love you so much. 